Welcome, welcome. The collective is here for your information, knowledge, and love. Understand that what you are hearing is vibration and not words. Allow yourself to ride on this stream of vibration. This is where all of the knowledge resides. Though you hear it through your ears as words that you are used to. We ask you to set aside what it sounds like in the words and feel the vibration that is brought forward from the collective and all that is. It is this vibration that holds all the knowledge of all time, all knowledge of the past, and all knowledge of the future. Allow your energetic being, the being that guides you, allows you to flow through the day. We ask that you allow this energetic being to connect to the vibrations that are being spoken. The individual that sits in front of you is filled with this vibration, is filled with this energy. It is then translated into the words that you are hearing from this individual. We ask that you settle into this vibration and you allow it to connect to you, change you, heal you, and guide you from this point forward. What we want you to understand is that there are many things, many things that you are fearful of that are taking place on this planet, but there is no fear to be had in it. It is a distraction. This has been brought forward to you many times. You understand it at a level that is not of the conscious mind. You understand that there should not be any fear in what you are experiencing, but yet your mind overrides your thoughts and your understanding of what is in front of you. Understand this, that fear is a void that one will fall into. The energy that is associated with fear is one that can cause many issues with the human form. The vibration that it sits in is lower than what you understand. Subsequently, it lowers all of the vibration in which the being resides which then can allow illness, sadness, other emotions, and other things in. This is not to say that it is, as some would say, a entity or dark being or dark energy. No, it is just lower energy that you are then allowing in. Fear isn't something that you should completely Remove from your existence. Fear is a good thing. It makes you aware of your existence. It makes you aware of certain aspects of your life. Yes. But once you understand that there is fear, you can then release from it and move beyond it and allow your existence to be one of higher vibration. But there is a collective fear. There is a collective lowering of energy that is taking place. We understand this, but what must be understood is that your light, your beacon, your energy, your vibration, whatever you want to call it, must remain at its highest. This is something that we want you to understand. 
Allow your vibrations to remain at the highest level possible during this particular period, this particular cycle. What you must understand is, yes, this is a cycle. This is a cycle that your planet is going through. There are things that have been taking place, yes, that have been causing harm to other individuals on this planet. But it is not as you perceive it. There is an awakening taking place. There is a movement of energy that is taking place throughout this planet. And one must understand that in order for this movement to take place, there is disruptance in, as you would say, the system. Do not become part of the system of fear that is in place. Do not be part of this. This is a distraction if you allow yourself in to it. Your health, your being, your existence is one of higher light, higher energy, higher vibration, higher love. Allowing yourself to remain in this space in that place that you exist in a higher realm, a higher frequency, will allow you to move beyond all understanding of what is taking place on this planet. And you will have the understanding of how to get beyond the fear. You will also aid others of removing this fear. Nothing exists in fear but fear. Nothing exists in the fear vibration than all of the lower emotions that the human understands. You have been at a place in your existence of this higher vibration and we ask that you remain in this space. It is your guidance. It is what you are here to do. You are here to be the pillar of light that you are. You are here to guide others out of the fear. Allowing yourself to do this, you will only exhibit love and you will be in this space of higher frequency. We also want you to understand that, yes, there are physical attributes to this fear that is taking place on your planet. And as has been discussed in the past, the human form is susceptible to certain things of this planet. It is not to say that you forego the nature of this planet and Ignore certain things that may take place in your body. But if you keep a higher vibration and you keep your light as bright as you possibly can, these issues will not remain long. You do not allow yourself to slide into the fear. That is our message to you. Though you may see it all around you, in everything that you do, remain strong, remain steadfast in your vibration. This time, this existence that is here and now will pass and there'll be a much better existence just on the other side. It is coming. There is change from what we see, from where we sit. It is on approach. You all have the ability to understand this, but you must open your vibration to it. What we want you to understand is this. The connection that you have to all the other realms is right in front of you. Your energetic being that resides here in your heart space, the center of all energy in the being that you exist, 
is one that will hold you fast to what you know and how you understand the existence that you have and the frequencies that are in front of you. Allow your vibration to resonate at its highest. It is most critical at this point for this to take place. You are an example for others that are in this same space. You are an example for those that have not come out of the fear existence. It is your place to help them out of that place. That is what we are wanting you to know and understand that you have the ability to change everything on this planet at this particular point. Allow yourselves to be the divine beings that you are and that you have been since you have been placed on this planet. It is now time to be the divine being. Hold your space, hold your vibration. And it is what will protect you moving forward. Each and every one of you is a divine being a divine vibration, a spark of all that is and ever will be. Hold that vibration strong and mighty and it will guide you to where you need to be. That is what we want you to understand. If you have questions, please ask. Thank you so much for being present with us this evening. We had our Starseed meeting the other day, and someone sensed Ashtar was present. Was Ashtar present with us, and does he have a message? During this particular time, yes, his presence was made. There was a collective of crystalline beings that were present. They were there to support and uphold their agreements with each and every one that were present. It is now time for the crystalline light to be present with each and every being of this planet. It is being brought forth from the central galaxies, pushed through your sun to your planet. Hold your space. Hold your time. Now, there are many things that are present in your constructs. It may appear to you that your constructs are failing. They are not. They are being upheld, but not in the way that you perceive. Allow your energies to be part of the uprising of the new construct. Allow yourself to ride in on this energy. Dismantle all the old beliefs and constructs. Replace them with this new construct of understanding that the crystalline light that is present on this planet is one that is of a higher source and will change all beings present and inside and out. It is holding the vibration that is present in this crystalline light that is being brought forth for all to witness and understand. Many of you have been witnessing this while you are sleeping. Many of you have been witnessing this while you are awake. This is the light. This is 
the energy that is being produced for change here on this planet. It is here for a purpose, and you are awakening to it. Your DNA is shifting and changing. Your physical being is changing. Allow yourself to adhere to the new constructs of understanding that this is the new way of life that will take place here on this planet. There is much healing in this construct. There is much love. There is much rebuilding that will take place. The council witnesses to you the fact that you belong into all of this crystalline light. Allow yourself to enter into it. Do not shy away from it. Open yourself and understand that this is the signal for you to move forward. Allow your being to resonate with it, be filled with it. You will then begin to understand and receive the detailed information that it holds. The crystalline light that is being entered into you is a form of communication. It is the connection point, the bridge to all communications from the galactic councils. This is where you will understand what this new earth is like and will be. Be present in it. Open yourself to it. That is what the council is here to provide to you. Thank you. Can the council give us some information about how to ground ourselves and keep ourselves, some would say protected or grounded um, during these turbulent times? Many look upon grounding as something that is a physical action to this planet. Grounding begins with inside of each and every one of you. It is by nature what you already do, but you do not witness to it. You have all of the energies that are of this planet, of this galaxy. To ground to it, you must look inside. The DNA that is inside of you is changing. It is taking shape of a crystalline form, allowing yourself to adhere to this crystalline shape and form will ground you. Focus on this new existence. Think of yourself as a pillar that is run into this planet, into its center, and is connected into all galaxies above. You are grounded. If you feel as if you are not grounded, it is a focusing, it is a refocusing of your existence. Focus on your existence here on this planet the being that you reside in. But if you must, and there are physical actions you can take, yes. They are more ritualistic in nature. But if you must contact this planet, then do so. If you must hold its possessions, as in stones or crystals, then do so. But understand that you are one as well. You are a crystal as well. You may not have witnessed it at this point, but you are a crystal. All crystalline objects throughout all universes vibrate at a particular frequency. You vibrate at a particular frequency. 
Once you become attuned to this particular frequency, this is where the grounding takes place. The reason you feel as if you are not grounded is because there is no synchronous connection to this frequency that you are a crystalline object or crystalline being. But it is when you connect to a physical object that is of crystalline nature, you feel as if you are connected to it and it helps you ground. It is a ritualistic aspect of your thinking. But what you must understand is you must equalize the frequencies of your thoughts and your physical being. This is where grounding takes place. Thank you for that information. I have a question. Every day, I, every day when I look at the clock, I see the number 11, like 8, 8 11, 9, 11, 7, 11, 11, 11, almost daily. Um, what does that mean? What you are observing is your frequency shift. You are resonating with a particular frequency that is matching to these particular numbers of one. One is a extremely high resonating frequency. You are coming into balance with this. There are many that believe that there are messages to be held within this one or the other sequence of numbers. But what you must understand is that as you become a tune and your body begins to change and shift into its new frequency being, there are other synchronous things that will take place. This is a, an awakening an understanding that you are becoming a frequency balance. Your belief systems will be one that will tell you certain things. But what we want you to understand is this balance, this frequency balance is all of what everyone is taking into existence now. Allowing yourself to see the synchronous patterns in life is where you and your existence will begin to change. As your frequencies begin to balance and become synchronous with others, you will see much greater change and much greater difference in the aspect of the life that you exist in now. Continue to observe these synchronous activities and note them take existence in them begin to communicate with this synchronous activity and you will be given messages understand this that there are many that have been given messages in different ways and then they have then brought forth information that this particular number sequence means this, but it is entirely up to the individual that communicates with this synchronous activity to receive the messages that are held within it. Everyone experiences these synchronous activities, but if you take the moment to actually communicate with this particular activity, you will see the communication that is held within it. As frequencies balance, there is a, as you would say, download in it. Many experience it in different ways. Some see the patterns, the synchronous patterns. Some may resonate at a particular frequency. But all in all, it is a download of information that is being provided to you. But until you become 
cognizant of this activity, this synchronous activity, this frequency balance, you will not understand the messages that are held within. And that is what we want to share with you. Thank you very much. Um, I've always wondered uh, what it means, speaking of numbers, when people are born on double digits. For example, my birthday is 1122, and I know other people that have double digits in their birthday in terms of frequency and numbers. What does that represent or mean? There are two aspects to the answer to your question. The first is similar to the previous answer that has been given. There are synchronous messages within the, as you say, double digits, the equalization, the frequency balance. It is up to you to understand the messages that are held within. But more importantly, the messages that are held within for a particular birth date that is of a double digit is part of your agreement of being placed here. You set forth to be brought here on this particular planet at that particular day on a particular time. And within that, you encoded a particular message. And it is at a particular point of your understanding and your synchronicity and your frequency balance that this message will then be given. But it is entirely up to you to understand this. Think of it as a lock, a combination lock. You set that pattern before you arrive to this planet in an agreement of what you are going to do here on this planet. As each number falls into place, it holds a particular frequency. And as that particular frequency balances out and resonates in harmony, the information then will be provided. But only you know the code. You only know the frequencies by which they resonate. And it is entirely up to you, the messages that come forth. That is for all beings here on this planet. There are synchronous things that you have placed ahead of you, ahead of your journey here on this planet. Be observant of these things that you have laid out in front of you. You have encoded them with messages, remembrance of who you are and why you are here. And allow those things to unfold in front of you. It is not for all of the collective to give the answers. It is for the collective for you to understand that you hold the messages. Prior to your arrival here, you had an understanding of all beings and all things and all time. You were part of the divine. But it is, as you chose your existence here, not to remember these things along your path and your journey here. But you set markers along the way to remember certain things about that existence. And as they are revealed to you, that existence comes into clarity and you then become more aware of what is just beyond your reach. Look for these things. That is your purpose here on this planet. Begin that search. Go back and remember the things that have resonated with you, the things that have changed your path. Those are all aspects of your life that you put in place prior to your arrival. And it is those things that will guide you on your path forward. That is what we want you to understand. Thank you very much.
Many people are diagnosed with schizophrenia. I believe that it's a special sensitivity, um, but I want to hear the collective thoughts, please. What do you view, how do you view schizophrenia, and how can we as Earth beings best support these individuals? Thank you. What must be understood is that here on this planet, the existence that these beings here hold may appear to you as having a particular issue as you speak of it, schizophrenia. But what you must understand is that just because they appear to you in a particular manner or appear to anybody else in a particular manner, that is their outward existence. That is their existence that faces you. Their existence in their physical form. But what must be understood is what is actually taking place with the energetic being that is inside of that individual. Many on this planet, many on this planet, have a much closer connection to their existence prior to this planet. Their thread has not been cut. They have remained one foot in the divine existence and one foot in this existence. There is no line between them. So what may look to you as someone that is not clearly thought. They are in an existence that bridges both here on this planet and the divine in other realms. That is not to say that you in your existence may not think that you are doing this, but you are in a different capacity. You decided to sever that thread when you were brought to this planet in this existence. There is purpose for those that have not cut that thread. There is an existence for them. It is an energetic existence. And though it may be a struggle to be with these individuals, from an energetic aspect, an energetic understanding, there is much to be understood. There is communication that is taking place. There is transference of information. But it is not in the communication form that you understand. It has been spoken before that there is a shift in communication all throughout this planet. And it is that of telepathy, telepathy telepathy to the other individuals, the connection of verbal is no longer. It is a mind-to-mind -mind communication that is taking place. This is difficult for those that have not experienced it and don't understand this existence. Though each being here on this planet has the capability of doing this, it is a mindset of your choice to move forward and experience this existence. But you must enter into a space that you may not be familiar with. There is a void of a space that you must enter before the communication can take place. Your mind, your existence, your understanding of what has taken place here on this planet is what clouds this void. But once you tap into this void and you know that there is communication that takes place, you will have an understanding of how to bridge it and use it. Do not think 
negatively. Do not have fear in these individuals. They may not be in the same shape and form that you exist in. Their existence on this planet may be different. But what you must understand is they are, as you exist, all part of the divine. Their existence here on this planet is just as profound as your existence here on this planet. Allow yourself to be near them. Give them the comfort that they require and begin to communicate with them. They will share their knowledge. They have much to share, but they have not been asked. That is what we want to provide to you. Thank you for that. As far as the vision last night, was something being unlocked or shared or given? What was the meaning of the phoenix rising with the energy work between Elaine and Will and I? What was witnessed between the three individuals is this. There is a shedding of a new existence into a realm that is beyond your comprehension. Your new existence here is one that you are about to get used to, but you are also entering into a plane of existence that is into another realm of possibility of all that is. The energy that resides there, the knowing that resides there, is one that you have not experienced. Think of it as you have been brought forth through the tree line into an opening, and in this opening, is everything that you have wished upon yourself. It all exists, all in a moment. And what you thought was your new existence was that tree line. But your new existence has been given to you. The significance of the phoenix is one that you are rising up. There is a fire that is within. There is a fire that does grow within, and it is what you are rising from. But there is a portion of this existence that you are reluctant to move forward into. This existence is one that you must, as the phoenix rises and spreads its wings, you must spread your wings of existence into this new realm. The peace and understanding that will be in this new realm will be one that will cascade into everything that is of existence in your life now. Allow yourself to be the new being that is. Do not hide behind the fire that is in front of you. Step through the fire and allow it to be you. Allow yourself to step through that fire. Allow yourself to be the phoenix. Allow yourself to step into this new path, into this new opening this new clearing that is in front of you that holds all of the wisdom that you have sought.
your existence here on this planet has been held behind you long enough. Open yourself up to the understanding that the divine being that you hold in front of you is the one that you need to step into at this point on your path. Allow the energy that surrounds you to be the energy that guides you. Open your mouth and speak what is to be spoken. Allow those things that you know to be your guidance. Allow yourself to be the guide for others that come to seek from you. You are the divine being that you know you are, but do not hide behind it. Allow yourself to step through it and be the being that you are. Allow who you are to be what you are. That is what we want to provide to you in this particular point on your journey, on your path. It is now time to be who and what you are. Thank you so very much. Um, can you, um, give a distinction or different, differentiation of what is presented in front of you as, um, someone presenting their own stuff or as the mirror? Is there a difference? So how can we tell the difference between whether that's their stuff or they're presenting that to us as a mirror? Because it's our stuff to clear and work on. There is a difference. Is my yeah. Thank you. Have the understanding that as you are presented, as you stand in your being, others will present themselves as you see yourself. It is those representations that you see in others that there is much fear and misunderstanding. The mirror aspect that you speak of is one that is in place for just that. As one matures, as one becomes more aware of their existence in this realm, the more they become aware of the existence of those things of their existence that they do not appreciate. It is not a matter of clearing as you speak of it. It is a matter of acceptance, acknowledgement, and learning. As those individuals approach you and you see the aspect of you in them, what we ask you to do is not rise up. Do not allow the self to be prominent. We ask you to step back. We ask you to look at the aspect of you and ask yourself, why? Change takes place inside of you, not outside of you. 
allowing this change to take place inside of you will allow your awareness and your growth to expand. The self is what guides you. The self is what will be presented in front of you. But what you are looking to achieve is the I am. The I am is aware of all aspects of the physical being and will not be confronted by the self. The I am understands where the self is, allowing yourself to find yourself into the I am. You will have this greater understanding of what is presented in front of you on those that reflect yourself. Channeling and understanding this information and turning it within is where this knowledge resides. It is a difficult aspect of this existence here on this planet, we understand. But what you must understand is this is the life that you have chosen here on this planet. The existence that you have come from does not have this aspect of life. You have wanted to witness this aspect of being. It may be disturbing and it will be challenging, yes. But it is the aspect that you chose. But once you become aware of the self, the I am will expand. The I am is where you want to understand who you are. Take time to understand this information. Take time to be with the self. Challenge the self. Challenge all aspects of the self. And this is where ultimate change takes place. And when the change takes place and those that present themselves in front of you will no longer reflect who you are. And you will then begin to see who they are, their aspect, their I am. That is what we want you to know. Thank you so very much. Can you interpret the phrase breathe life? Please. Yeah. Understanding the concept of as you express it, breathe life. is one to understand the true existence of all. Breathing life can be used in many ways. There is not a physical attribute to breathing life. But it is the energy that is transferred through all existence. It is the creation. It is the dismantling. It is everything and nothing. It is pure force of energy, pure force of life. One can breathe life into another being, yes but that is a physical aspect. 
Remaining in the breath of life is the existence that you are here to achieve. You feel the breath of life each and every day. It surrounds you. It fills you. That is the essence of all energy. Breathing life is what the universe does. It is what sustains all existence, not here, not anywhere, but everywhere. Allowing this existence to be with you, this understanding to be with you, you will be surrounded by all that is. Breathing in the essence of all. Breathe it in. Surround yourself with it. The breath of life exists everywhere. It is what sustains all existence. Allow it to be your existence. Thank you so very much. Who was that speaking, please? The primary vibrational information was provided by Source and Archangel Michael. Thank you very much. Many of us participating this evening are helping others to heal, and we are in the 3D world, but using 5D techniques or being in a 5D realm as we do this work or higher realms. Can you speak to that process, please? The healing aspect of all beings on this planet do take place in other dimensional realms. As you speak of these higher realms, they are ones that you have placed a label on, an existence that is one that you must comprehend in your understanding, yes. But what must be understood is that once you enter into a space of healing, or as you call it, energy work or quantum healing, quantum field. You are entering into a space of existence that transcends any understanding that the human form will have. When you enter into this space, you become an antenna for the information, for the energy, for the knowing and the healing to take place. You become a bridge, a physical bridge between the different realms. You can look upon it as a gateway or a portal for that energy to move forward through that space into you, into another individual, into another circumstance, into the global aspect. What must be understood is this. Many of you only work within the realm of other physical existence here on this planet. But you, as you are bridging this connection point into the quantum field, into the understanding of all things, the healing takes place across all levels. It is not just localized to the individual or thing that you are trying to heal. 
your energy is being pushed out and beyond all the bounds of understanding. The physical form here on this planet can only receive so much energy. And what is left over is then put out into the universe, out into the quantum field. It is healing on multiple levels. It is transcending your time. What you have pushed out into this quantum field, out into the universe, at some point you may catch up to it. So be aware of what you are doing. Remain in this space. Set your intentions appropriately. Because once it is out in the quantum field, it exists forever beyond your understanding of your time frames. And at some particular point, you may intersect with it again, either in a physical form or a non-physical form. But it is there. It is being provided and it is healing across all levels, all dimensions, all of the quantum field. So it is most appropriate that you set your intentions before you begin what you plan on doing with your energy, where you plan on placing your energy. It is healing, but not just in front of you, all around you. Thank you very much. What information do you have for Evan as he prepares to hike the AT? Will he find what he's looking for? This individual is going on a quest of understanding. This individual is seeking more than he understands. This individual find aspects of his self that he is not fully aware of. He will be tested along this path. There will be difficulties on this path. But in the physical form, this is where the test must be for the inner growth of the self to be. Give him the understanding that he has been guided to do this exploration, this journey of his existence. He will be guided and surrounded while he is on this journey. And he must open the lines of communication for this understanding. Do not be fearful of what is ahead. Do not be fearful of the challenges that are ahead. Have the understanding that you have already been on this journey. You have the understanding of what is on the other side of this journey. And you understand your existence on this planet. Allow yourself to be guided by those that surround you.
Thank you for that information. My friend Donald is struggling with a transition. Can you speak to this for him, please? This individual is experiencing a juncture on his path. There is a critical point of decision that needs to be made. There's a critical point of a relationship aspect of this individual that needs to change. This is a physical and non-physical relationship change that is in place. And this is where the reluctance remains. One will balance the other, but it is entirely up to this individual to open himself up to the understanding that he, and only he, has awareness of this path forward. He has sought the guidance of others, but it is not what it is that he is seeking. He has the knowledge within. He has a much deeper understanding of the existence and awareness of his self. But it is not what he has in front of him. These aspects of the relationships that are in front of him will continue to hinder this decision point that one will lead into the other. There is a self-relationship and an external relationship that are at play with this individual, and he, and only he, will move this path forward. Allow his guidance, his understanding, his knowing of his existence on this planet to be the guide. The understanding for this to take place is an example for all beings on this planet. As one begins to change, as one begins to become aware of their existence, their self, their I am, Particular aspects of relationships that are in front of them begin to change. This is a vibrational frequency change. This is something that is out of balance. The synchronous activities that need to take place within these relationships are not of in balance with the individual. With many that are struggling with relationships, it is just that there is an imbalance of frequencies. But you will look upon them as physical attributes, not energetic attributes. The physical attributes will fall into place if the energetic attribute is in balance. This is the understanding that we want you to have. For any of those individuals that are seeking relationships or are having issues with relationships, do not look upon the physical attributes as the issue with the relationship. Find yourself in balance with the energies and the other attributes will fall into place. This is where the healing takes place. And that is not to say that some relationships may be severed because of the imbalance in frequency. Because it is not all that is of a frequency balance. There are individuals that will never be in balance. 
It is their path. It is their choice to be just that. That is what we want you to understand. Thank you. And before we close, do you have a final message for all of us that have gathered tonight? What we want you to understand is this. Be the energetic being that you have been brought here to be. Do not fear in this life. Do not fear in this existence. Do not surround yourself with those that are of fear. You are aware of your center. You are aware of your energetic being. You are aware of your existence. Hold your light as it is your light. It is your beacon. It is your strength. It is your knowledge. And what we want to ask of you is to hold it so others can gather around and change because of it. You are the change that this planet will use and need to move forward. It is now time to hold that light, to be that pillar of understanding for others. Do not be distracted what you see in front of you. It is just that distractions. There is much more to the existence that you have on this planet than the small distractions that are in front of you. They are there to throw you off the aspect of your existence that you have now. Allow yourself to surround yourself with others that hold the light as well. The more light that comes together, the stronger the change, the stronger the attribute of change there is for this planet. You are all divine beings. Look upon yourself as just that, a divine being, a divine creation. You may have forgotten your existence of where you have come from. But you are beginning to remember, you are beginning to understand this existence. You are becoming aware of this existence. Allow yourself to be in this space. Allow yourself to be in this space of existence, of knowing that you are a divine creation. And with that, others will understand. And that is what we want you to know. Thank you so very much for being with us this evening. As always, the Collective is here for your information, knowledge, and love. <laughs>